some advice from better drivers is worth its weight in gold. Others are, let's say, for the bin. Ever got hit by the When you are so slow, why don't you just practice more? Which for most beginners is the absolute worst advice you can give them. And with that, welcome back to Overtake.gg. My name is Champion Joe and today we have to face a hard truth. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Most likely, the way you practice is inefficient. Why telling people to just do more of it is some really bad advice. But hey, this is Overtake. Of course, I'm gonna try to help you to get better at training for an upcoming race. So come and join me as we go over 10 training tips and techniques that might make you better at learning new tracks and will help you building up speed and consistency in a short amount of time. And if you learn something new, like always, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for mobile notifications so you never miss any of our new uploads. But let's get started. When new to sim racing or you want to learn an unknown track, there are multiple good tips on how to get to grips quickly. My number one on the list is to warm up before you start going into deep learning. Just like when playing an instrument, warming up your fingers, your arms, your legs and your feet can help massively to get into a rhythm before starting to stuff new information into your brain. So drive out, take it slow and just do two or three laps. If you are completely new to a track, don't try to remember everything after the first trip around. This first phase is to warm up, not to learn the ins and outs just yet. Because that will follow now. To learn a new track, there are actually multiple really good ways to memorize the layout. My personal favorite and the easiest of them all is just to have a look at the curbs. Curbs are used on racetracks to show the driver where to place the tires. When doing a slow lap to warm up or right after, use the curbing to see where the track is heading. It will show you where the track wants you to use the whole width and sometimes there are even markers that will tell you where the apex is. Really useful stuff when you're just starting out with a new track. But of course I also have some tips on how to memorize the layout. One, I just recently learned from Simracing604 who did a video on this technique. Using rally pace notes or a broke down version of them to memorize the corner speeds and categorizing the track layout in your brain. He classified all the track's corners into three categories. A two, so a slow corner where you need to reduce speed by a lot. A four, a faster turn where lifting the throttle might be enough and flats where you, as the name implies, stay flat on the gas. And I think that's a superb way of learning something new. Not only will you start to think about where you have to be cautious and reduce speed or where you can carry a lot of speed through a turn. No, you will also subconsciously give the corner names in your head that will help you memorize the layout rapidly. So cheers again to Mike or Simracing604 how he's called here on YouTube, but there are even more genius tips to getting up to speed on new tracks. Which brings us to my tip number four, counting the gears. Similar to the method of giving the turns names depending on their speed, you can also label them with the necessary gear you have to choose to roll through them safely. Just like with Mike's approach, you will memorize the turns that way with the upside of being aware which gear you are in at any given moment. This can also help experimenting with higher gears in fast flowing turns in the future to ensure the maximum carry through speed later on. Although the system might be a bit more yeah, complicated to learn as inexperienced drivers might have a hard time figuring out which gear to take in the first place. So a tip for the experienced guys. And I even have one more tip to learn completely new tracks and that is to learn from the AI. In most racing games the AI is following the ideal racing line. And when set to a high difficulty like let's say 100, it will drive closely to the maximum achievable on that given racetrack. So why not study or follow the AI in a practice session? The crux about this technique is that you just can't follow the AI mindlessly. Because then you can't replicate it when the AI is not around. They are, more or less, just like the racing line you can activate in the settings. Your task is not to follow them, 
but to learn how they do it. So try and study them along the way. Maybe just have a look at the replay and try and find out where they break, how hard they break and what the ideal line on this given track looks like. This can surely help many beginners to get a first idea on how the ideal line on a track looks like. When it comes to getting better at a new track and consistently lapping at a relatively high pace, there is one crucial technique you have to adapt and that is to use reference markers. If you want to be consistent, your braking and turn-in points have to be the same ones lap after lap. To make sure those points are consistent, you have to find something on the side of the track that's unchangeable. For example, the meter boards or a pole, the start of curbing or a fence. Just, and please don't do this, use shadows as reference points. That usually isn't a good idea. Trust me on this one. But if you get this one right, you can with 100% certainty go to bed and know that you will be able to repeat your lap times the next day, as your markers will always be there. Okay, we've talked a lot about new tracks and now a little bit about consistency, but this is all hot lapping only. What about racing? What do we need to learn to become better at racing at this new track? The answer? alternative lines. You see, when being forced to go to the inside to defend a corner or to only use the outside line to maybe go for an attack, you can't just pull into your rival. You have to know how your breaking point will change if you for example only can use the inside of a corner without running wide. And you definitely can practice that by forcing yourself to alternate lines through different turns. So maybe stay to the inside for two or three laps and see how fast you can take everything without running wide. This will help you build up muscle memory for those kind of situations and will leave you prepared when an attack happens in your upcoming race. Trick number 8 is especially useful for everybody with a watchful eye. Because training and being in the cockpit is the one thing, but getting a different perspective can mix up things for sure. So my tip is to take yourself some time and watch your replay after a longer training session. Most of the time the perspective change can help you spot parts of your racing line that could potentially be cleaner. Which is also connected to my number 9, which is taking notes. Not every brain works the same and learning and processing new information is something each of us has to find the best method that works for themselves. For some of us that's writing things down. So take some notes while watching a replay, you might be surprised how much faster you can internalize what you have learned. And my last tip for today, don't practice for 5 hours straight guys. A short 15 minute to maybe half an hour practice session is the best way to memorize stuff, to get new information down into the wires of your brain and it will be much more efficient in the long run. Take it slow, take your time and practice first and foremost regularly. That's much more important than training for longer stints as it will help you build up muscle memory faster than having longer breaks between your training sessions. And that's it. What training techniques do you practice? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you need some basic tips for ACC, you might want to check out this video where I showed how the default setups in the game might set you up to fail. But that's it from me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time around. Cheers.